हेलो गाइस हरून हेयर आई वेलकम यू टू थर्ड पार्ट थ्री ऑफ फंडामेंटल्स ऑफ मजेंटो टू डेवलपमेंट फ्रॉम स्क्रैच द टॉपिक ऑफ टुडे इज कैशे कैशे इन मजेंटो टू सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल व्हाट इज अ कैशे फाइल अ कैशे इज अ फाइल सेट्स बाय अ प्रोग्राम डेट मेक द रिट्रीवल ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन और डाटा लाइक वेब पेजेस इमेजेस रियली फास्ट सो why we use cache as we know speed is an in extremely important factor for a today e-commerce business it's actually become a ranking factor that influences bounce rate and conversation as well as user intention to visit the site in the future so cache in magento 2 magento is a really fast platform there are many methods like server upgrades or reliable code which is used by magento to make it fast but a big thing is caching caching in magento magento gets information or data from different sources such as configuration files database queries and makes the cache files of them which makes magento fast magento use cache its cache library for management of files if you got your magento package from github you can find this cache library in this position slash lib slash internal slash magento slash framework from cache if you get your package from composer you can find this library under this directly slash vendor slash magento slash framework slash cache let me show you guys this library in my package inside magento i go to uh, lib inside internal inside magento inside framework and here is a cache library we are not going to discuss internal working of cache or customizing this cache library because it is not relevant in this course this is information for just just sake of knowledge so how cache files are managed or classify in magento based on functional role magento divide divide cache files into different types or groups you can find default cache types inside directly slash it app slash etc slash environment dot p in environment dot php or env dot php it it is highly unlikely you want to change cache settings or types unless you want to create custom mechanism so what is the benefit of this approach the benefit with this approach operations like cleaning enabling and disable and disabling limits to the specific cache types so let me show you guys default cache types in magento I open my text editor, go to directory app, etc. env. php. So these are default cache types which are set by Magento. We look at detail of some of these important one in next slide. Magento two. There are two ways you can manage cache. The first one is from admin panel cache management page. the second one via command line interface we look at these two ways step by step so i log on to my magento admin panel go here in system select cache management these are all cache types i can select and can enable disable or refresh them as i wish no look at the second way we are guys we are command prompt i type command php 
bin slash magento which is a directory or which is a file of my command line interface and command is cache and the command name is clean and option the cache type is config if i do not mention cache type here the magento is going to clean cache of all types so this will clean the cache of type config we will study different cache types in next slide no i just type bin magento cache clean it will clean all types of caches so here all these types of caches are being clean are being cleaned cache files that are being created you can find them inside your magento directory slash var slash cache let me show you in your magento directory slash var slash cache these are cache are cache files which are created by magento so now we will discuss different types of cache in magento so the first one is config which uh, is the cache file that contains configuration related information from all modules uh, and actually it takes all inform uh, configuration information from all modules merge it and makes it confirmation file the second one is layout which is which is of course compose compiled page layouts the third one is block html which is of course our uh, html pages the next one is collection which is the results of our database queries next one is uh, ddl which is that schema of database the last one is full page which is actually html generated pages you can get the detail of this of all cache types from magento 2 documentation so cleaning cache in magento 2 cache cleaning is important as we can see the impact of changes that we made until we do not clean cache so the effects our developer made on core level we can see only if we create clean our cache so there are three option we can use to clean cache as we already discussed we are we can manage or delete cache via admin panel the second process via command line the third simply go this directory cache and delete it so so it is also always preferable to clean the cache via backend or command line because this process thoroughly clean the cache even if a non default cache which is customly created by a developer storage is configured so that's it for today thanks for watching have a great day